All right, welcome to level six of lesson 13. We are now in the practice levels. We are gonna do all four of these. Um, so let's get started. We're gonna start with A, where grow based on content. All right, so instructions. Grow based on container content. I'm gonna pull this down so I can see everything. Um, let's do some more practice with the flex grow property. It turns out this property can do some cool stuff for our children elements. For example, if we give all children elements a value of zero, this means that the element will grow based on the content inside it. So if one element has more content, it will be larger than the others in the container. Pretty handy. Now, if we want all of our children elements to take an equal portion of the parent container, then we can give all of our children a flex grow value of one. Let's give this a try. In the CSS file, add the flex grow property to the first container. All right. Uh, and set the child elements grow based on the content inside the container. See above description to remember what that value should be. And it looks like the value of zero. So, all right, uh, the first container, add the flex grow property. So we're gonna come down here. Here is our first one. So we're gonna say flex grow and the value of zero. And then we're going to come down here to the second container, add the flex grow property to the second container and set the child elements to take an equal portion of the parent container. So this one is going to be flex grow uh, value one. All right. So we can already see a big difference between the first row and the second row. Um, all right. In the HTML file, add some more text to one of the paragraphs in the grow zero container to see the item sizes adjusting based on content. All right, so let's use the middle one. Um, and since it's uh, October and Halloween, I'm just going to put in uh, some of my favorite Halloween movies and see how far we go. So I'm a total Disney buff, so of course we have Halloween Town. But then there's the horror movie Halloween. There's also it, and oh, the witch was super scary. Um, let's see, other Halloween movies. Of course, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Uh, and I think that that proves our, I mean, we could go on, but I think that that kind of proves our point where as there's more content, there, the container will stretch to accommodate it. All right, so we've got that, we've got that. I think we've done everything we need to do for this one. Let's press the orange finish button and move on to the next. So step layout, we're gonna click on this one and here we go. So simple steps. We can do some fun stuff uh, without layouts using flex child properties. Let's practice both the flex grow and align self properties to make us some steps. Ooh, okay. So in the HTML file, make note of the class attribute names for each of the paragraph tags in the steps parent container. So we have steps. So this is the overall container. And then these are each of the tiles. So one, two, and three. Okay. In the CSS file, add a rule to set all child paragraph elements to take up an equal portion of the parent container. All right. So we're going to start there. And we're going to say steps. Um, we're going to say flex grow uh, one. No. All right. I, I know this, but let's see. Flex grow. Hmm. Let's try align self one. No, I knew it was okay. I know it's flex grow. Flex grow. Uh, yeah, one. Okay. Ooh, maybe I put it in the wrong. No, we have steps. We have steps. Refresh and save. Hmm. Hmm. 
Oh, you know what? I'm just wondering what would happen if we did 100%. Nope. I think there's something wrong here. Let's figure that out. Class equals steps. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. All right. So what happened and how did I fix it? Um, when I went back and looked at this, these are like, they're not just tiles. They're actually paragraphs. So they're paragraphs that if you come down here and you look, are made to look like tiles, right? Um, but in the end, they're honestly just paragraphs. All right. So by coming in here and then it says set all children paragraph elements right so that's why we had to come in here and add the paragraph elements of this class so there we go all right that problem is solved add a rule set for each of the paragraph elements to look like steps okay um I have a kitty getting in the way of my screen. All right, and he just caused a mess, but that's okay. All right, let's do this. So we have um, one, and that is gonna be flex, oops, align self, flex end, okay? And then we have two, and that is going to be align self, center, there we go. And just because we want the practice, three, uh, align self, flex start. There we go. Um, all right, we have all of that. And then add the order property to each of the paragraphs. Ooh, okay, so hold on here. Um, all right, that looks correct. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, level 61. Add the order property to each of the paragraph children elements to match the image and the instructions. Well, they kind of already do, but yeah, let's, let's just do it for fun. So one, and actually, um, we don't even have to do that. We can do this order one, order two, order three. There we go. All right, so we got a little extra bonus uh, in there. And everything looks good, it looks good. We got some steps. All right, we're gonna press the orange finish button and move on to the next activity which is ordered steps. All right, so it looks like we're gonna do the same thing, but in reverse. So ordered steps, let's practice ordering our items by changing the order of the steps from the previous practice. Oh, wow, I already did this. Okay, so I just moved ahead. Aha, check that out. Um, okay, so let's practice ordering our items by changing the order of the steps from the previous practice level B so that they look like the image to the right. You should make sure you have completed the previous practice level B before completing this practice level. Perfect. Don't forget a value of zero is the default. Given a negative value like negative one, we'll move the item to the left of the other items and giving a value greater than zero like one, we'll move the item to the right of the other items. And of course we can always give our items a specific number value in to order our items in the order we want, one, two, three, etc. Do this, add the order property to each of the paragraph. Okay, so there we go. Um, so we just gotta flip these. But I'm gonna be special. I'm gonna say this is negative one. Oh wait, no, that one's, I, I take that back because we're flipping them. So I'm gonna say this one's gonna be one. I'm gonna say this one's gonna be zero. And then I'm gonna say this one is gonna be negative one. <gasps> da -da -da -da! We have our three steps, okay? Could I have done it where I just said um, one, two, three? Absolutely, but you know, I did that already. So let's play around a little bit. 
All right. Um, again, if you need help with anything, you can always click on the show me how to get started. You can always come up to the help and tips and click on Flexbox Children Properties, which will show you everything you need. Um, but we have completed this, so we're going to press the orange finish button. And we got one more to go. We're going to debug some code. Let's go. All right. So this is the last one on level six. Um, debug me. Oh no, Maya was making a page on the Earth's ecosystems, but she can't quite get the images in the right place. Please help her debug the code so that her page matches the one in the image to the right. Do this. Can you find and fix the bugs for each of the image order and alignment layouts in the CSS file to make the page match the image to the right? Make sure you view the preview window in full screen to see if it matches. All right, so we're here. This is what we need. This is... Ooh. Oh, okay. All right. So it doesn't quite match, but it's getting close. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Can you fix, can you find and fix the bugs for each of the image order and alignment layouts in the CSS file? So we've got to go to the CSS file. All right, so the top one is Arctic, so we need to make that one. And then we need to say flex end because it's at the end, not the beginning. And we can actually push this all the way over. I wonder, ooh, ooh okay, all right. Um, we'll do that later. And then, so the Arctic is first, and then we've got the rainforest is second. And this one is not centered, this one is flex start so we got that all right um reef is gonna be third so we'll do that all right so okay we got that and then reef is gonna be flex end that is correct all right um and then next comes the desert so that is four and it is not centered it is flex start Okay, mm, there we go. And then last but not least, the savanna, which is five. And that one is, should be flex end. Excellent. So if I did this right, let's look. Okay. Um, voyage to the, okay. We got that. We got that. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, that all looks correct. So I'm going to just double check and make sure, yep, that all looks correct. All right, so we're going to press the orange finish button and we have finished all four of the activities. So now we're going to press this orange finish button and I will see you on level seven. All right, here we go.